All right, how's that? <laughs> Hopefully that's better. <sighs> okay. Um, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> Jeez. Like I always have some kind of issue with my mic. <laughs> um, yep, so let me know if you can hear me now. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, so... <laughs> As I was saying, this is um, a character from Princess Tutu, and my creator started working on this back in July for a Rococo-themed um, Patreon thing, and ended up dropping it for another idea, so now we're going to finish it today. Hopefully. At least. Sort of finish it, maybe. <laughs> So let me know if my mic is fixed, please. So it ended up that her head looks a little wonky, so we're just gonna and I fix her up before attempting to ink her again. There was already an ink attempt, but again, Allie didn't like it and ended up getting rid of it. <laughs> she looking a little bit better already. Yep, so, um, I'm just kind of cleaning up this pose. I don't know if the, there was some reference images of some ballerinas before down in here, but I don't see them anymore, but that's okay. Um, we're just gonna do our best to clean it up. I guess it's been quite a few months since my creator has touched this piece. <laughs> it's, um, this is what the... Original line art looked like, um, and I still really like the skirt, but I just felt like the the head just needed some some help, so <laughs> we're gonna give it some help. <laughs> I think the um, the legs are kind of what needed the most help of all. I just feel like this pose is a little awkward. Well, I might copy. We're gonna copy an additional one in case the new legs I draw are even worse. <laughs> but um, Let's see, on the topic of Magical Girls, if you were in a different Magical Girl anime series, then what type of leader from the Magical Girl series would you want to be? Um, yeah, I would love it if I had <laughs> other um, Magical Girls helping me out. As I've mentioned before, that would be a lot of fun. Um, let's see, if I was a leader of a team... Mm, let's see. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, I would still be like me, <laughs> except for I would have a lot of other team members to look after and 
um, I guess, coordinate our attacks and things like that. I'd probably be a kind of leader who wants to protect everyone, so I would be using a lot of my uh, taffy whirlwind attack in order to protect us and shield us from um, enemies' oncoming attacks. So I think I'd be kind of like a very protective team leader of my teammates. <laughs> Just like I feel like I am of my friends in real life. <laughs> that sure would be fun. If I did have some teammates. <laughs> Her legs are turning out very small. <laughs> um, my creator actually once drew my friends Pepper and Carmelie. Those are my two best friends who live in the dorm at Cloud Prep School with me. She drew them as uh, magical girls, and Carmelia had like a uh, a princess themed outfit, like I do, except for it was themed after Carmel um, candy. So it was all like orange and gold and it looked really cute on her. And then for Pepper, she got a, a peppermint themed outfit. So it was a lot of mint greens and um, stripes featuring white and red. So that was pretty cute. <laughs> Maybe my creator will draw it again sometime. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> I'm not really liking any of these poses. We shall keep trying. <laughs> Angel Stories, what kind of magical girl team leader do you think you would be if you were in charge of a magical girl team? I'm going to try a whole different new pose here. It's kind of confusing with the, the flower reeds and stuff in the background. I'm just going to take those away for now. <laughs> Hmm. We'll eventually get something we like.
kind of getting somewhere. I'm gonna make her legs come up a little bit, I think. Like that, maybe? <laughs> I'm gonna check for. Okay, she does have a little curl at the top of this thing. Uh, my creator has been super into um, Tropical Rouge Pretty Cure right now. Uh, it's the newest season of Pretty Cure. And features like a kind of islandy lifestyle and mermaids and uh, sea monster villains and things like that. So it's pretty fun. <laughs> and um, she also likes a lot of other Magical Girl anime. <laughs> so um, like Shugo Chara and Tokyo Mew Mew, uh, Madoka Magica. Um, like a lot <laughs> just kind of blanking out right now but she's kind of dedicated to watching and reading as much magical girl content as she can uh, let's see card captor sakura pre-tier um yeah just a lot <laughs> What are uh, your favorite magical girl um, animes, angel stories? Also, hello, Amber. Thank you. Yes, Princess Hitu, she's so cute. <laughs> I'm trying out some different poses um, for her. This is the only one that I really like so far. I still think her head's a little wonky, but... I can't really tell why. <laughs> like, what exactly is wrong with her head? <laughs> it seems okay proportionally, but it just looks wonky. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's check your skirt. I kind of want one of these to dip down into the water, I think. Nice, yeah, Pretty Care is awesome. Um, what is your favorite season? Uh, my creator's favorite season is... Uh, Star Twinkle. <laughs> Her favorite cure is Cure Milky. Because, <laughs> as you can tell, she loves alien girl magical girls like me. <laughs> okay, let's see if we like the old one. Or the new one better. I think I like the new one better, but there's still something not quite right about it. Maybe because it's hard to draw ballerina shoes. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
Maybe a smaller, smaller top of the head, perhaps? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put back the background to make sure that that is um, meshing up with everything. Oh, I guess this was the original original one that my creator drew right here. So, I guess the new one I'm going for is kind of more similar to the first concept. Yeah, I feel like this one's more elegant. Yeah, Angel Stories, I thought that that was a really cute concept for that Pretty Cure um, season as well, Healing Good. I only got around to watching the first episode, but hopefully more soon, because it does look adorable, and um, the Earth definitely needs some healing. Hi, Alpine! Welcome! <laughs> How are you? Right now we're gonna draw her as a normal girl. I feel like my music has stopped. Where is the music? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Just had a long ending thingy. All right. Alpine, don't feel bad. Um, I always enjoy when you come on for sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, YouTube. I I don't know. I think it was because I was gone for those two weeks that YouTube decided that I was not important in the algorithm anymore or something and stopped suggesting my streams to people who even follow me. <laughs> it's kind of what it feels like. <laughs> Social media sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I do think it's kind of weird that it's like you subscribe to somebody and because you want to see their content and then it just never shows you their content or tells you when they're on. <laughs> Yeah, the few hours that Instagram was down, it felt like a new age of peace and beauty. <laughs> You're right, I kind of felt like, is the world ending? But, <laughs> like, what's going on? 
But you're right. <laughs> it did feel kind of relaxing. <laughs> I just keep on going back to look at her school uniform. Oh, there's her shoes. I was like, oh no, did I not get a picture of her shoes? <laughs> They're very cute shoes. Okay. Alright, so this is going to be the version of her reflected in the water now. It's this one. It is a very cute show, but also a pretty dark show. She goes through a lot. <laughs> a lot of people in the show go through a lot. <laughs> but it's really good though, so if you haven't seen it, I would definitely recommend it. Hmm. All right, that should be good. Next, we're going to clean up the irises in the water. And for that, I think we might just drag a picture over there so that we don't have to keep on flipping back and forth. There's not, uh, there's not, like, very much blood or very much murder in Princess Tutu. I think the, the darkness comes from the mental states of the characters and some other things about the plot that I cannot reveal if we want to stay spoiler-free. But it's definitely not, like, a modern day dark magical girl show where it's all about the blood pinata and the violence <laughs> it's it's more about a slow lead up of bad mental states for multiple characters <laughs> that makes it dark <laughs> so no it's not you know super dark compared to modern dark magical girls but uh, uh yeah it's definitely dark in its own way <laughs> 
<laughs> More dark and like, uh, you know, like in a Grimm's fairy tale way, like a Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale way, more likely. Um, I mean, it is pretty based around fairy tales, so what can we expect? <laughs> yeah, please do check it out. And also, people duel each other by being ballerinas, but <laughs> it's really cool, though. <laughs> All, all the characters have very different motives and things like that. It's, uh, it's very interesting and aesthetically pleasing. Is my flower picture going to move it over here? Um, that one did not look so correct. Let's see the shape again. Alright, so the outer petal would not stick up like that. <laughs> yeah, okay, that looks better. Yeah, flowers! <laughs> Allie really enjoys drawing flowers. Maybe I'll put one more here. <laughs> Your favorite quote from season four of Camp Camp. It says here 75% of all ballerinas are injured after fighting their evil twin and 60% become murderers. Those numbers are really high. <laughs> well, that holds true to Princess Tutu. <laughs> much. <laughs> Actually, both of those holds true, so... <laughs> Camp Camp wasn't wrong. Alright, those look decent. <laughs> the next thing is some flying swans. So... I am still shook about the sheer number of um, ducks, and I know that swans and geese were included in that number, but there was still so many of them, it was really surprising. <laughs> I don't know how Earthlings aren't overrun by ducks on a daily basis. <laughs> These swans are needing some help. All right, swans. <laughs> Outside says camp camps never wrong except when Billy picked a lock with a candy cane. <laughs> Just something I think France would do. You know what? He probably would do that. That seems like it takes a lot of skill though, because you've got to sharpen the 
the candy cane, I'm guessing, and then make sure that it doesn't break while you're picking a log, but <laughs> if somebody could do that, then they have some skill, certainly. <laughs> oh no, you are overrun by ducks on a daily basis, oh no. <laughs> well, hopefully they're nice ducks. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna draw some swans. You didn't wake up until 12.45 today, and the ducks usually strike about 11.14 a.m., so you're <laughs> They're on a schedule, apparently. <laughs> the, uh... Your regularly scheduled duck attack. <laughs> That duck seems to fit nicely there. <laughs> Alright, let's draw a second one. No, did I call this a duck? I think I might have. I'm in a swan. <laughs> Still learning the differences between my earth species. But we definitely learned some interesting info, um during my last stream about oxalotls. So that was fun. I don't know if maybe I should do a Wikipedia search stream on them as well. Or some other interesting animals. What are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, I didn't read the above comment. Prime duck knowledge, so they commonly target me. Luckily, they can't touch me during the slumber. <laughs> Sounds like they have a truce where neither of you can attack each other if you were sleeping. <laughs> it's a uh, very good sportsman like of the ducks. <laughs> Maybe put this one. Um, okay, it it reconnected. That's good. Concerning though. I hope that doesn't happen again. Jeez. Um Hopefully YouTube kept streaming for me. <laughs> uh the duck overlord was unpleasant with my knowledge. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Don't wipe out all the ducks on Earth. There might be some that are friendly. <laughs> also, let me know it, because I I saw my um, streaming software cut out twice now, so I don't know if that made any interruptions in this stream, or if you couldn't hear me for a certain time. Just let me know if there was anything weird happening. <laughs> Forgot the puffs. Okay, just cut out for a couple seconds. Alright. 
just trying to make sure that none of my words got lost or anything like that. Not really sure why that happened. Hopefully it does not happen again. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna see if there's anything that I want from the old line art. I'm gonna take the necklace. I'm trying to remember what pin this was in the original one. Was it this one? Yeah, I think so. Or maybe not. Maybe it was this one? Looks more likely. This is very small, though. Ducks of the Great Land of America have been possessed. The duck inhabitants of other countries are safe, but on this land of the free, no one is safe, not even us. The ducks will rise. Oh no! <laughs> That's a little concerning, and I heard that um, my creator, Allie, has many ducks around the house where she lives, so she's surrounded on all sides by ducks. <laughs> it's not a good thing. Jeez, I hope she'll be okay. <laughs> I feel like the neck is a little funny. Uh, let's see. Need the... All right, that will do. All right, this layer is getting... All right, let's see if we can make her look non-wonky this time. Hmm. Alright, let me just try some eyes to make sure that she's not weird looking again. <laughs> Alpine suggests snicker bars in order to <laughs> rid the ducks of their demons. <laughs> it's 
It's a good tip. I'll have to let Holly know so that she can stock up on Snicker bars and stop the duck apocalypse or whatever's happening. <laughs> <clears throat> that eyebrow was not the same as the other eyebrow. Let's try that again. Also not really the same, but there we go. <laughs> Your nose. <laughs> yeah, the apocalypse is, <laughs> is upon us. Hopefully it doesn't happen too quickly. I still want to see Earth before the apocalypse. <laughs> Alright, I think I can kind of tell what's wonky with these eyes. Maybe like that. supposed to just be eaten by themselves? <laughs> Limes will cleanse yourself of the duck-related pain. Stickers will cleanse the ducks of the possession. <laughs> it sounds like it would make for like an interesting survival guide thing. <laughs> Just kind of random tips people should follow in case of different kinds of apocalypses. <laughs> Alright, I think that's good enough for now. We'll come back to the face later on as we stare at it more. Oh my, so you just eat limes by themselves often? <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> no sugar or anything. Interesting. <laughs>
Can't really figure out how we want this hand to be. Farther away from the body. Let's see, there you go. I would eat limes and make up the Michelles versus the machines, but with ducks. Hmm. I don't know what the makeup in Michelles and machines is. <laughs> is that also a food? Shells versus the machine. Okay, so it's a show. You gotta tell me about it then, since I don't know what it is at all. A movie about a robot apocalypse on Netflix. Okay, good to know.
So the, the ruffle is supposed to be longer. <clears throat> oh wow, that's one of your favorite movies ever. That's that's pretty high praise. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. I don't know if you can hear this song, but it reminds me of the Spore soundtrack in The Creature Creator. Well, not at this part, I guess, but the opening of the song. It's a progression of conversation that makes sense somehow. <laughs> See how that looks. Something about this face is still wonky. <laughs> ah. Um. All right. I'm gonna try something else. Here's the head circle, the head direction. This hair needs to come in more on one side. I like ducks. <laughs> oh, the show died years ago. I thought you said that they were gonna make some more soon. I make her hair part in the middle. <laughs> All right, something's just not right about those eyes. I'm gonna try again. <laughs> First with a sketch. My sound got paused. Okay, I restarted the song. <laughs> Oh, 
My thing stopped up. Oh, there we go. It was just saving. Alright, you think that looks a little better? Um... The eyes might need to be slightly down. All right, we're going to try to ink that now. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there's no update on season five. Just put back canceled to budget a while ago. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, um, did you say it was like a web series? So you could probably, um, comment on... Sorry, the, the light flickering thing was happening again. You sure what's happening there? I got duck ghost or something? <laughs> um... Yeah, so maybe you should comment on their web series and let them know that somebody is still watching it in uh, the year of 2021. <laughs> uh, oh, Kame! <laughs> Welcome! And um, Alpine, yes, um... Drawing no eyes would be a lot easier in this situation since I've redrawn these eyes a lot of times. <laughs> they just don't want to cooperate. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yep, she is our cute little duck. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not from Earth. How am I supposed to know what year it is on Earth? <laughs> I had to think about it. Uh, <laughs> Miss Duck here is the reason why there's, uh, so many duck references in my manga, actually. <laughs> my creator loved Princess Tutu and thought duck references would, uh, <laughs> be a good, um, reference back to Princess Tutu in a roundabout way. <laughs> um. See, we can draw her crown. Really, really focusing on this crown here. Can't mess it up. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I hope these eyes look better when I flip it than the other ones did previously. They still need a little help, but this is looking better than it did. No! Why are you always eating such strange combinations? Chocolate, olives, and now limes and Snickers. No! Gross. Tip the crown part a little bit. Because I need... Nothing there. It needs the old tilting. I think I'm gonna have to give her some special round eyes. Um, it's gonna kind of fix up the bottom lash line. All 
Alright, time for the special bugles. Now, Ellie only whips this technique out when she's really struggling, so... <laughs> it's the... Oh, wait. It's, I need to be overly... So... <laughs> need to be a little smaller and then hit that copy paste button <laughs> and this one's on farther away side of her face so it needs to be a little squashed all right <laughs> onions and twigs no <laughs> Do not pair candy with such strange earth things. <laughs> <It's> vegetables. <laughs> Lisa Kame approves of your horrendous choices. <laughs> Uh. All right, that's correct. Now, where is her? Okay. Her little cute feather thingy. <laughs> no, not raw onions! Oh no! Cheese and three musketeers! No! <laughs> it's a disaster! <laughs> Gross! <laughs> what is the appeal, Alpine? I think her, her feather might be a little bit bigger than that. Nope, not like that. I love the cute feather thing, yeah. I just felt like mine needed a little more pizzazz. There we go. Cute. I definitely feel like this is one of her best points of her character design, is the feather thing. <laughs> That's how she's looking. <laughs> no, not pickles and Hershey's. I've got to know, do you actually eat these combinations, or are you just trying to gross us out? <laughs> hey, I forgot her little... Loopies, her little blue curly cues. <laughs> ah, it's just so hard to draw long lines. <laughs> I don't think I've ever noticed the random lightning crash at the beginning of this song, unless it was happening outside my window, <laughs> which also could be possible. <laughs> it's very concerning.
Thank you, Akame. Yeah, I'm gonna do some um, swans and irises and maybe some uh, water lilies in here and then Duck's normal girl self is reflected in the lake. <laughs> Um, let's see, orange juice and spaghetti. Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah, I keep for we keep forgetting about the continuous curve line tool. Um, <laughs> my creator only discovered it during the last ten pages of volume seven, and so. <laughs> All of a sudden, the canard tails look so much better. <laughs> but, yeah, I keep forgetting about it even to this day. <laughs> I don't know how I keep repeatedly forgetting that it's a thing. All right, which one? Okay, this one. There we go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's such a good tool. That um it's it's so helpful. <laughs> I really need to put maybe like a sticky note or something somewhere so that we can remember to use it more often. <laughs> Makes a lot of things easier. We've drawn her swirly things, so now I guess it's time for the lake. And now that I'm looking at this, I really think that we should move one of these irises over to the other side. Oh, Lenovo is a nice brand, though. Um, Ali draws on a Lenovo product, actually. So this drawing is taking place on a Lenovo, believe it or not. Um, yeah, that's good that you have something bigger to draw on, but you were doing some really complex drawings on a phone, which is really impressive. Because <laughs> phone screens are pretty tiny. <laughs> and let's see... Kame says, Sky, you should play Undertale or Delta Rune. I have heard a little bit about Undertale. Is there still a community for it? I remember hearing about it a long time ago. And as for Delta Rune, I haven't heard of that one. So you're going to have to tell me all about it. Tell me the, the plot, what kind of game it is, and all that. I am still kind of looking for maybe something fun to play around Halloween. Like something like a little spooky, but not super scary. I don't know. So if it's something like that, it could work.
That's one iris. Oh, with your finger? Wow, that's dedication. You ever thought about getting one of those, um... No, I'm not gonna remember what they're called. The, um... Oh, yeah, the tablets that allow you to draw not on the, um on the screen of something, but you, like, plug it into your computer. Um, I've heard that there's some pretty decently priced ones out there, and you can also get them secondhand for pretty cheap, um, as long as they're not a big-name brand from what I've heard, so maybe that could be a good option. Oh, okay, so... Deltarune is a continuation of Undertale, I see, and has a big community still. I do remember hearing that, and my um, creator has actually been commissioned quite a few drawings of Undertale characters, which is pretty fun. Um... So I guess that definitely means that the community's not dead if somebody's out there um, commissioning art of it still. Is Undertale like a... I, I don't remember what I've heard about it before. Is it a, um, a download game? Or is it somehow like on a web browser? Because I thought once somebody told me it was just on a, a web browser or something like that. So just checking. <laughs> Okay, it is on Steam. Alright, um, we do play games off Steam, so I will check that out after the stream. Oh, 10 Earth Dollars. That's a pretty good price. <laughs> a choose your adven own adventure kind of game sounds kind of appealing to me since I don't feel like I really have the skills to um, play any like competitive games that require fast reflexes or anything like that <laughs> so it definitely sounds appealing so I might see what I can do maybe that for Halloween I 
I also kind of want to dress up for my Halloween stream, but I haven't decided what I want to do. Maybe just, like, a little witch hat or something. <laughs> I'm not really sure. A mustache? Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> Could be a lot of things. So, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, bullet hell kind of game. I do not know what a bullet hell kind of game is. <laughs> it sounds a little concerning. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I didn't mean to! I thought that, uh... Yeah, the... That was, uh... A word that wasn't so bad in Earth language! Because <laughs> I thought it was like... You know, the same as like saying like a, a demon or something. <laughs> Uh, okay, their game's kind of like Doho, where you have a bullet heading towards you, and you have to avoid them by moving around. Oh, that does sound hard. <laughs> I guess it's, that's better than having to uh, shoot other characters, at least. It's of avoiding being shot at yourself. <laughs> Right now for these swans. Oh, look at these things' heads. <laughs> Hey, there we go. <laughs> G double hockey sticks. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> I played a game the other day, um, not on stream, but it was a cooking game, and I was horrible at it because you had to move super quickly, and I wasn't used to moving back and forth with my, um, mouse, or my, not my mouse, rather, but my, um, the clicky keys, the ones that go in directions. <laughs> <laughs> I 
But so if uh, they expect me to do it with clicky key, click, clicky keys, <laughs> say that, then I am probably not going to survive. <laughs> All right, there we are. There she is. I'm gonna hit the save button since I have it, which is always a bad um, idea. So <laughs> now for her um, mirror self. Oh, that was the wrong one. Oops. Because <laughs> there was multiple. Um... There it is. I'm going to put her back up in there. Does um, Undertale have official merch, or is it all fan-made? Get rid of that. Those are the eyes, we need those. It's one of these, the mouth, yeah. Hand. Skirt, I leave the legs. Leave that for the hands. And this stuff can go. I guess her cowlick can stay though. And I'll just build off of her head shape. Hi! Uh, welcome, Happy Core! Thank you! I am now working on... She's supposed to be reflected in the mirror, so I have her as a magical girl, and then I am now reworking her as a magical girl into a schoolgirl uniform so that she can be in the... the ponder! <laughs> Great. So I'm going to start removing some of the elements, like the bracelet. <laughs> you see, it's her, it's her school uni uniform is a little longer than her, um, magical girl uniform. Oops, the back of the necklace there. Oops. <laughs> Get the up sleeves. Okay, they have more of this kind of shape. Just gonna make sure I get them right. You never know what layer we're on. <laughs> 
Slayer. All right, we were on the right one that time. Here's her necklace. Oh. <laughs> Again, not on the same layer as what I needed. Is her neck even gonna show up on a layer? Hey, it was that layer. Ah! Didn't mean to just move her neck. This layer is. Now for her other arm, get rid of the bracelets. I'm just going to use her original skirt and make it so that it's not semi-transparent anymore since it's not a tutu. Alright, now for her hair. I'm just gonna make a new layer and draw on top. streak across her face. In her braid. I know canonly she doesn't have a hair ribbon, but it's so cute. <laughs> So we always have to add one to her.
Oops, I forgot her chin was attached to that layer. This is her shirt, apparently. <laughs> Oops. We'll just, um, remove it this way. All right, that looks a little large. Um, my music has gone. I'll turn it back on. Uh, there we go. There's the music. <laughs> so, her hairline looks a little thick, a little chunky, so I'm gonna, um, use the narrow tool to make it blend in with the rest more. Not really sure how that happened, but that fixed it. <laughs> Uh, one last thing to turn her into her normal girl self is going to be the shoes. First I'm going to... There we go. <laughs> and shoe time. It's got cute socks. I'm not really sure if this is supposed to be lace or if it's just pointy, but either way, cute. <laughs> and for this one. Cute socks. <laughs> and the shoes have such an interesting design on them. I guess it's just a triangle in the middle of them, sort of. Kind of like that. <laughs> Alright, let's remove the sketch layer and see how it looks. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, Alright, so move, remove that and put back her magical girl form. And then we're gonna start coloring. Does anybody have any good suggestions for what I should um, dress up like for Halloween? I need something easy to just kind of put on top of my normal outfit. Something like a hat or um, something I can wear over my outfit. <laughs> a witch hat seems like the most, um, the easiest option. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I want to do. I mean, I guess I have, you know, 20-something Earth Days to decide, but I'm just getting excited about it, that's all. Okay. 
We took away her eyes. <laughs> I should be an old man for Halloween? <laughs> that sounds very interesting. <laughs> uh, how do I manage that? I wear... Uh, Argyle sweater and... Or like a coat or something. <laughs> Oh, a demon could be fun. I could, um... I could wear little... Like, demon wings instead of my, um... Instead of my real wings. <laughs> could be kind of fun. Um... <laughs> Skeleton could also be fun. And then I could wear like a little little hat with cute horns on it, maybe and some bows or something. <laughs> that would be cute. And Alpine, you need to give me some information on what dressing up as an old man <laughs> for Halloween looks like. <laughs> I'm very curious. <laughs> A gray mustache, argyle sweater vest, white dress shirt, hacky boots, and khaki pants. <laughs> That'd be a very interesting costume. <laughs> Sounds like something my friend Chi would like to do. Like to dress up as. But he kind of dresses like that normally, so... <laughs> he probably has everything right in his closet. He's, uh told me that he's thinking of letting me borrow some of his disguise stuff for my stream. Well, I haven't planned when the stream is, but for my next stream when I do Spore, I've made it to Civilization Stage, which is where you can give your creatures mustaches quite easily. <laughs> so I thought it'd be kind of funny to... Wear a mustache and a top hat, maybe. Um, and my friend, she has them, so... We'll see if he lends me any. <laughs> be kind of funny to dress as someone's specific grandpa. <laughs> I might be able to find a baseball cap, though. <laughs> You know, go get the color for the skirt. Hmm. Thank you, Happy Core. Um, 
this is my creator alley drawing. <laughs> I'm just helping her um, and commenting as <laughs> she works. Um, but she has been drawing for all her life, but um, professionally like living off of her artwork for about the last six years. Um, <clears throat> I am actually her character from her original Magical Girl manga series. It has seven volumes so far. Um, but yeah, so she's been working on that series for six years now. And it's all about me and attempting to protect my planet from aliens who want to steal the candy from us. <laughs> so she's been, she's been working hard for a long time. And she really loves um, everything in the Magical Girl genre. And so that includes girls like um, Princess Tutu, like we're drawing right now, or, um, you know, Tokyo Mimu, Shugo Chara, Madoka Magica, those kinds of anime. <laughs> it's kind of her goal to watch and read as many Magical Girl series um, as possible. <laughs> so. Hmm. Yeah, this is gonna be a design for a sticker. My creator Ali started it a few months back. Um, for one of her Patreon themes, it was, uh, Rococo, so she wanted to do a lot of princess characters and palace gardens kind of things, but she ended up going with a different idea, so she never got around to finishing it, and now she wants to, um, finish it up, so <laughs> that's what we are doing today. Me too. Get a white background going in on there. Happy, happy core. Oh, very cool. Um, I hope you succeed in making a series of your own. Um, my creator is going to soon make some tutorial videos to help out people who want to get started in self-publishing and stuff like that. But you can always feel free to email her any questions you have in the meantime. But what kind of music do you make? That sounds really hard and exciting. And Alpine. Yes, thank you for talking about ducks and <laughs> old men costumes with me. Um, we'll see you next time. <laughs> I love the color palette of her outfit so much. It's so cute.
the blue in the right spot there. Right. Um, oh, you like um, Undertale alternate universe music. That's really cool. We were actually just talking about Undertale. Um, one of the other commentaries was suggesting that I uh, play it for the first time for Halloween, maybe. <laughs> I thought it could be interesting. <laughs> But yeah, it was, as with everything, practice makes perfect. <laughs> and, uh, the gold accents everywhere. Oh, good. And now I have a, another suggestion about it. Um, thank you. Um, I'm glad that a lot of people are recommending it. I know that's a, a fairly old game, so the fact that people still like it now must mean that it's pretty good. <laughs> So many little details in this necklace, wow. <laughs> just the top wing that is no both wings are transparent it's such a cool necklace design mm. We go and I'll need more gold for the crown. Guess I can put back her eyeballs now. <laughs> now she can she can see again. Oh wait, those are the wrong ones. These ones. <laughs> She can see, yay! <laughs> There's her shoes. We didn't really draw her shoes yet, but we're just gonna wait on that and go ahead and give her some tights. And some blush. Oh yeah, that is too bad to hear that people are leaving because toxicity... The fandom has been around for a long time, though, from my understanding, so it's kind of interesting that now people are leaving. I mean, was there, like, some kind of thing where it was not popular for a long time, but then people got back into it again, or 
has it just stayed completely popular for the last few years? Just gonna throw it out there. Um, cussing in my stream is not allowed, so I'm going to remove this user in the chat. Alright, there we go. So it did die down a little bit in 2017. Hmm, that's very interesting. So this fandom has been pretty, pretty strong for many years then. See what color her eyes are. Oh yeah, that is too bad that people hate everyone <laughs> who likes Undertale just because they're part of a toxic fandom. I think that it's kind of the truth for um, many large fandoms, though, is that they do become toxic not because the game or the anime is toxic, just because the sheer amount of people in it, and sometimes people just look at the fandom and they think that's what the you know, the game or the anime is when they see a few toxic people instead of looking past it and actually finding people who genuinely care about the product or game. So, yeah, I get it. That's too bad. Thanks, Amber. But yeah, so this is how she's looking so far. Um, just gonna add some more details to her eyes. I'm not sure how much shading I want to do on this or not. I haven't really decided. Um, yeah, sometimes I go for 
you know, pretty much just no, we go for like no shading or very shaded and then there's degrees in <laughs> between that. I don't know. Putting some more darkness into our eyelashes. Aw, oh, thanks so much, Happy Core! Good luck on your passing school. I hope it goes well for you. And if you do pop in, I'll be happy to see you. Good luck on your game producing and all, or music producing. <laughs> So see you around. <laughs> Thanks for stopping in. stuck around for so long, um, Amber. <laughs> Hopefully it's been entertaining. Um, yes, I guess we've been working on this for two whole hours now, which is pretty surprising. <laughs> I am recording this to make a speed paint later. Yes, I am. Um, I have it set to record on on um, the program, so it won't be like me zooming in and out like my speed paints used to be, but it will be... Um, You know, a nice, a nice speed paint. I did not, however, get um, the first sketches of it because it was sketched um, quite a while ago. Um, however, we did redo quite a bit of the the sketching before we began. Be before we began, <laughs> um, because the original um, sketch was kind of funky. <laughs> I wanted to do one more thing to her face. Mm -hmm. Those ones are too big. Oh. I deleted all of them. Here we go. I'm not sure how much I actually like the freckles now that I'm looking at it, but we'll see if it makes it into the final or not. Oh.
Thanks. <clears throat> Yeah, so I don't know if um, you were here for me talking about what this is going to be for, um, or if I've showed it to you before, <laughs> but um, this is for a sticker design, and I'll show you what's cool about it. Um, I mean, you you already saw that she was in the in the lake. She's gonna be in the the like reversed as her normal girl self, and um, it'll be a mirror sticker, and her in the lake will be, you know, semi transparent so that it looks more mirror like, I guess, so that um, it really gives the impression of her looking into a mirror or. A pond, as it were. Yeah, she is. She's looking a little more close to completion. However, once again, I'm really not sure how much I want to, um... Give her some shading or not. <laughs> I'll definitely make sure you get one. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, like I said, it's it's been an idea on the the to do list for a while now, and um the the sticker sticker app is the name of the. Sorry, I'm focusing on getting this land right. Um, is the name of the people that we wanted to get mirror stickers from, and at the time they were out of mirror stickers, and plus it's expensive <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so we decided to wait and didn't even work on this piece, and. They are running a 20% off sale to get stickers made, and Mir is back in stock, so they might as well get it made.
Still not sure what I'm what we're gonna do for um our holiday Matsuri um products. Holiday Matsuri is a convention in Orlando, Florida on Earth. Um during the holiday season. And I will be back like I was at um Metrocon, <laughs> where I'm on a screen so you can talk to me. That would be really cool. But my creator hasn't figured out what kind of products she wants to make. Hopefully some are of me. <laughs> Maybe some ornaments or something like that. Be cute. Get the purple color. Sorry, I'm so so quiet now. I'm getting like a little sleepy. <laughs> and hopefully, it's still enjoyable to watch the progress. <laughs> okay, one more iris. There's a little gap missing here. Right, there are some flowers. I think my music paused again. Yes, it sure did. Here's the next song. <laughs> All right, we should make sure our swans are not green.
Now, irises have white and yellow and a little bit of pink in the middle of them. Oh, nice! <laughs> You viewing for such a long time will probably help my um, viewership. Oh, hi! Hi, <laughs> happy core, welcome back! <laughs> Are you were looking at the series about me? Oh, cool! That would mean the world to me and my creator. <laughs> that makes us so happy anytime anybody wants to read about me. <laughs> Kind of the whole reason that we're streaming, which is I wanted to talk to more Earthlings and let them know about me, and um, hopefully they would want to read my manga. So <laughs> makes me very happy that you want to read it. We only have um, one omnibus left right now, but we have all of the individual volumes in full stock. Um, omnibus, we've got to order more. <laughs> That's like one of our little um, TikTok videos kind of blew up featuring the omnibus, and we sold quite a few rapidly, which was really cool. <laughs> Um, yeah, we need to restock. <laughs> oh, cool! <laughs> Yay, thank you! <laughs> yeah, the, um, either the big volume, or if you get over three of the individual volumes, they come in this really cute box. <laughs> It's like a galaxy print box with uh, my face on it and some of the villains' faces on it. It has shooting stars all over it, planets and stuff. It's a really cute box. <laughs> I'm sure the virus has the little... Here we go. Maybe I can kind of streak the white around so that it looks more like an iris. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> looks more realistic and flower-like now. Yeah, we're really proud of the box. <laughs> it's really fun um, packing orders, so we tried to make it extra magical. <laughs> As much as we could, so that's where the, the cute box comes in. <laughs> Just makes it that much more magical.
Maybe, um, I do not know if it would get an anime adaption. We would really like to translate it into Japanese eventually, um, which would be really cool. And then um, it would get a wider um, audience instead of just in English. Um, however, I don't know when we'll be able to do that, but when we do, I do hope that um, some anime studios maybe would look at us. If not, um, my creator is definitely attempting to learn more about animation. There is a few sort of animation things on this channel featuring me, either transforming or things like that. They're not true animation per se, but they are kind of like moving pictures, I guess. So she's definitely working on getting better so that one day she can maybe at least fully animate some scenes of um, me doing something, <laughs> at least. Um, so either way, uh, you will most likely see something about me animated one day, even if it is not a full anime. <laughs> we also really want to get some, like, anime figurines of me made. It would be really fun. Um, like a <laughs> real figurine merch kind of deal. <laughs> right now, I mean, we have like acrylic stands and um, PVC charms and keychains and stuff like that. But uh, things like plushies or real figurines would just be the ultimate dream. <laughs> Oh, yay! <laughs> cool, at least I know one person wants the figurines, too. <laughs> We're kind of thinking that in the future, so we run um, Kickstarters um, for each new volume to help it get produced before, you know, it's it's finished or before we have all the the books and stuff. Kind of helps us get things started and know how many to um, order for the first run. And we've kind of thought about maybe adding on a figurine as a stretch goal or something for one of those um, Kickstarters. So <laughs> we'll see. I mean, it would it would be very expensive, but very um, uh, what? A <laughs> um. Yeah, so hopefully we can do that sometime. That will be really cool. And, um... Uh, hello, Scrub J. Do you mean what... Where am I looking? I'm... I'm just looking around. I'm looking down at this, uh... Drawing and up and all around. <laughs> Get that plant looking decent. <laughs> yeah, I would love to see an anime of, of me. Um, it would be so cool. Just absolutely the dream. <laughs> um, let's see, um, yeah, I. <laughs> I mean, my creator is actually kind of thinking about maybe just, you know, hiring someone at some point to animate some stuff of me since she wants to learn really badly, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, um, the girl that I'm drawing. Oh, that's a good question, Scrub J. So she is... Um, She's looking at her own reflection in the pond, and she is a character from Princess Tutu, and so this is her magical girl form, and she's going to be looking at her normal girl form in the, um, the pond's reflection. It's supposed to be a sticker, so when we're done, it's going to have a mirror-style shine, and the, the girl in the pond will be semi-transparent and very shiny. <laughs> but then the girl on the land will not be. 
So we'll have to get to coloring the other girl, but I was really excited to work on the background first. Oh, and uh, happy core. Oh, that would be amazing. Um, I would, I was, we would love some, <laughs> some music for um, the animations and stuff. That'd be super cool. And we would, um, you know, you would have your name on it and stuff too. So maybe you could get out there. <laughs> um, but that's a really nice offer. Thank you. I'd like to hear some of your music. See the I'm not really sure what I want the sky background to look like yet, but I'm just gonna kinda just gonna put a You know, let's just do, just do a whole sky in the background for no reason. <laughs> and I put the whole pond there. Not really sure what color for the pond yet, but. Kinda makes it look like she's on a weird island. Ooh, spooky core, okay. <laughs> I'll look you up. I'll look for the <laughs> Satana uh, profile picture. <laughs> cool. <laughs> sure what I want then the like the sky background like blue almost feels not right like it should be stormy or something back there uh, let's see about some clouds or mist or something I'm gonna use one of my helpful helpful um, brushes look like some mist Then maybe some more like gray color for the background. I do some 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 mist over the top features. Give it some some kind of vibe. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> kind of looks almost smooky. I said smooky. Smooky? Spooky. <laughs> kind of spooky. <laughs> but 
Uh, I like it. Oh, thank you so much, Happy Core. <laughs> Next thing I want to do is kind of add a um, add a a line where the the water and the the land come together. And some more plants. Not really sure why that did not add glow. <laughs> like I wanted it to. Oh, it's like on oh, the totally not even close layer. I see. That's why. And let's uh just make it a lighter color. These are supposed to be hanging in the water. Try that again. Oh, very cool. Uh, what kind of nature center was it? That's awesome that you are helping the nature that you um, live in. <laughs> and chilling by the river. That sounds very relaxing. Kind of like uh, what this character here is doing. She is also chilling by a river or a pond. However, she looks more upset than anything. <laughs> so hopefully you are happier than she is. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I like that color for the line art better, I think. It looks a little softer. Thank you, Amber.
very cool! You help out with fish in aquariums. What kind of, uh... What kind of fish? Now, let's see, my favorite game at the moment is, um... Sims, actually. <laughs> because, um, I had a really fun time... Um, creating a bunch of the characters from the comic that I'm in. And then having them interact and building them homes. <laughs> so, I'm actually gonna be playing more Sims. It's Sims 4, by the way. Um... Um, Friday? Yeah, on Friday. Um, <laughs> and that's gonna be really fun because we are going to be building the enemy castle. <laughs> um, it's gonna be like this super tall fortress, um, that is on the alien planet that is attempting to conquer mine. <laughs> and then we're gonna move all of my enemies or uh, future friends as I like to call them into this castle <laughs> oh fun I'm glad you like it too um yeah so I made a bunch of my friends um including me and then like the girls that live in my dorm and the guys at my school and then of course all the villains <laughs> um other than that um my creator's favorite anime since I mean like it's kind of hard to broadcast anime all the way to Rabu Furu sometimes, but my creator's favorite anime. Um, at the current moment, oh geez, that is... It's a hard question for her. She has a hard time with favorites. Um, <laughs> she's watching um, Tropical Rogue's Pretty Cure right now, but she's really enjoying. Um, she also just finished an anime called uh, Vivi Flora Eye Song, which she told me about, and... She absolutely loved that one. Uh, it's about a uh, robot girl whose mission in life is to sing, but she has to protect humanity from mass extinction. So, <laughs> kind of like Hatsune Miku stars in Terminator 2. <laughs> so it was really cute and had amazing animation and music. <laughs> Alright, see you, Happy Core! <laughs> Not sure how much longer I will be working on this, but if I am still here when you get back, then cool. You'll have to let me know what kind of music you made while you were away. <laughs> See ya. Um, okay, let's, let's see what kind of colors swans have on them. <laughs> Almost no color. Just a very orange beak. Like the same color as Tutu's hair. <laughs> Uh, display color. Alright. Uh, other layers. And then there's some black in there. Yay, swans! <laughs> Even though I said I wasn't really going to do any shading, I definitely think these swans need some... some shading on the underside of their wings. some gar and really cool clown knife fish. I've heard of clownfish, but not clown knife fish. <laughs> I sure wouldn't want to see a clown running around with a knife, that's for sure, but I'm sure that the fish are very cute. 
I'll have to look this up later. All right, I should give her shoes before I completely forget that she has shoes. <laughs> Take away the smoke clouds. Alright, taking a look at the shoes again. It looks like a salmon with an eel tail. Wow, that sounds like cool. <laughs> um, I like um, eel. Eels are cute. Alright, these are Oh, I was confused for a second why her skirt was not um not pink anymore. Hmm. I don't know if I can maybe move these out of the folder and they still work. Oops. Uh, take the lighter color back. Nope. This one? No. I guess I'll probably just go back through every single layer and recolor it purple <laughs> at some other point. That's rough. <laughs> They're really cute. Cute pink classic ballerina slippers. Here we go. Oh, thank you. Let's zoom into it. <laughs> it's a complicated necklace. Um, you can see it here. It's like, I can't believe that, I mean, this is really granny, grainy, but I can't believe that the animators drew this thing in every frame. Yeah, it's so detailed. <laughs> So I should hit save. It's kind of my fatal, the fatal flaw with gaming and with art is not hitting save enough.
Yeah, many wrists were lost to make this character dance. <laughs> You're probably right. I mean, they definitely worked hard on the detail of that necklace alone. <laughs> Um, I definitely have to add color to her other self. Oh wait, I, I figured out something that I, I wanted to add. Um, add some shine to her hair. And, um, yeah, I definitely gotta add her, um, her other self in the reflection. Hmm, just, I just realized something about this. Keep on, we, I keep on forgetting to finish my sentence. Um, yes, we... We need to... <laughs> uh, if only I could speak. We need to, um, yes, color the, the girl for the reflection. Um... I think we're just gonna test out to see how she looks before um, fully coloring her. So we're gonna go and flip her and put her in the pond now. Yeah, we got <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what I said like three times before getting it out. <laughs> All right, there's. I'm gonna just gonna copy that, paste that, uh, merge, flip it vertically. <laughs> Put her in the pond. I don't think it has to be that stretched. It's definitely only really going to be her face. And it's going to kind of see how it looks. My music has stopped again, so. <laughs> There it goes. Uh, so then we would put the mist on it and I'm just gonna do a quick outline of where I kind of think the um outline of the sticker would go so I'm not sure how big this sticker should be like it's pretty detailed <laughs>
It's gonna be a pretty cool sticker. And then just imagine the pond is very shiny. <laughs> I think I'm also gonna make her jewelry also shiny. And I think right now on my screen, it is, um, it's about five, five inches on this screen right now. It looks good that size, so that's also really large for a sticker, five by five, wow. Alright, I'm gonna do the flip version of her. For reals. Thank you, Cole. Yeah, I'm really excited to see it um, made. also make it a print. I don't know. The shipping for um, the five book in one version of the manga. Um, it depends on where you're located. Um, on and also I have Etsy and a website, and um, Etsy does kind of make it so that your shop won't be successful unless you offer free shipping for uh, anything over $35. So I do do that. However, I don't get as many extras when I ship with Etsy because obviously that that's like $11 that now I don't have in my profit. Um, so if you buy off my website, then the shipping will probably be $11 if you're in the United States, and then you would get a lot more extras. So it just depends on where you want to uh, purchase the big one for. Um, and uh, I was going to say one other thing. But if you're international, then I would suggest um, going through Etsy, because even though I don't offer the 35 and over free shipping, um, on Etsy, they have a cheaper international shipping option, which is usually runs like $20 to $25. If you put it in your cart, um, even if you're not planning on buying it yet or anything like that, you can, um, it'll give you a shipping estimate to like your zip code or your location in the UK. But um, we have shipped things to the United Kingdom before, so it can be done. But yeah, the um, the Etsy special shipping is going to be cheaper than um, like using traditional USPS or UPS, which is the two shipping character carriers that we have in the United States. So it'll give you a quote if you um, put it in the cart.
I'm gonna put this tutu over here so I can grab her colors. <laughs> Thank you. It would be kind of cool if I made two versions of this design. One with her as a normal girl looking into the pond and seeing herself as a magical girl, and then the one the other way around. <laughs> Could be kind of neat. <laughs> I wonder which one people would like more. Originally, I was going to do her looking in the pond and seeing herself as a little duck. Um, I'm there's the the doodle of the duck which is pretty cute but i wanted um her as a normal girl instead and then oh yay thank you so much that means so much to me <laughs> yay <laughs> thank you happy core i hope you enjoy it <laughs> we'll send it out as soon as possible <laughs> And yes, cool, yep, it's a reflection, so she'll, you know, she'll be in there. I just have to, um, color her first, <laughs> then flip her in there. I just kind of did, uh, her line art flipped in there because I wasn't sure if it was going to look good and didn't want to spend all this time coloring her if it was not going to look correct. But it looks like it'll be just fine, so we've begun to color her. <laughs> And, um, happy core, that is, um, yeah, so that's volumes, uh, one through five, and there will be ten volumes in the series in the end, so there'll just be one more of those omnibuses when I complete everything, um, and, and I have, we do not really have a time frame right now, but Hopefully in the next few years. <laughs> it's been about a book a year, so <laughs> we are on. We just released seven. So yeah, <laughs> maybe three more years. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that you stopped by too and found my stuff. It's been a joy talking to you, and I really hope that you enjoyed my series. <laughs> that makes me very happy. Get the, get the gray from her uniform. And when um, I start, when my creator starts uh, working on um, volume 8, which should be soon, um, she will also stream drawing it with me watching like I am now. <laughs> so that'll be fun because then people will be able to see what it looks like when she's actually drawing the manga about me, which will be pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, yay, thank you. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, we tried to um, make the 1 through 5 omnibus kind of reminiscent of a uh, vintage um, Sojo magazine from Japan. And I guess actually, there's actually one magazine that still does it all rainbowy like that. Um, Nakayoshi magazine, which publishes some of the most well-known Magical Girl series like uh, Cardcaptor Sakura and some of the um, Pretty Cure comics. And they have the alternating blue and pink with some of the color chapter opening illustrations as well as some of the comic pages in color. And <laughs> Allie really wanted to do a big colorful edition that was reminiscent of that kind of thing. So that's what the omnibus is supposed to look like. That's why it's, it's so big and colorful. <laughs> I think I might just steal the eyes off this one to put on the other one. <laughs> Alright, let's see where her... Eyes... gonna duplicate those and uh, not merge the selected layers unless they are together. Okay, they are now together. <laughs> <laughs> floating eyes <laughs> her eyes are gonna fly away with the swans look at them go be free <laughs> okay now they can go on the other girl <laughs> yeah no one will know just swipe the eyes <laughs> taking the eyeballs and running <laughs> uh. There they are! <laughs> the eyeballs are back! And I need to figure out where the line art for the eyeballs is. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Move those bad boys into place. Here we go. We have eyes. <laughs> yep, yeah, this is the one for the the flipped version that will be in the pond. I have her kind of in there right now. I wanted to make sure that she was good enough to color by seeing her in the pond. So she'll be looking at herself in the pond. I don't actually know which one I like better sitting on land though. <laughs> so I'm a little conflicted. There might be two versions of this in the end. She has navy stripes on her uniform. Use that continuous curve tool that will help me. Oh, that's not big enough. Oops. Nope. Too big. This one. All right, I might use a different tool for that. <laughs> um, Lucky 
lucky star. Yes, my creator is actually watching that as one of the things that she's watching right now currently. She watched the um, first episode a long, long time ago with her sister and liked it a lot, but then they didn't get around to watching anymore. And so, uh, years later, <laughs> uh, Allie decided to continue it and is now on like episode three, I want to say. It's it's really cute and funny. She definitely wants to watch more, so <laughs> I'm glad to hear that other people are also watching that at the current time, because I know that I've mentioned it to a few people that I'm watching it currently, and they're like, what? That show's so old. Why are you watching it now? <laughs> you know, so I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Other people are watching it in the Earth age of 2021. <laughs> oh, welcome back, Alpine! And yeah, it's still streaming. It, it's This is probably one of my longest art streams. It's just... I'm trying to get this... Uh, done as much as possible. <laughs> And oh, okay, so you're also not complete yet. That's cool. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch some more of that. <laughs> the opening song is super catchy. <laughs> Just makes you want to dance. <laughs> what message did you retract, Alpine? <laughs> you have some top secret information on the the duck army coming to get us that you didn't want to share with me? <laughs> Another one. It's it's a holding your next <laughs> It's holding your next messages for review for some reason, and all it says is, I can't find bread, and for some reason it thought that that was bad enough to hide. <laughs> Which is hilarious, because I've had people come in and put, like, cuss words, and it never wants to hide them, because they, you know, put, like, a space in between the word or something, but apparently bread is a bad word enough to hide. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> um, also watching The Order is a Rabbit and Takagi-san. At the same time, a lot of episodes to watch. <laughs> I have not watched this The Order of Rabbit, but I've seen some figurines for it that look absolutely adorable. Um... And, yeah, my, my creator has a tendency to watch too many anime at once, also. Um, <laughs> too many, too many anime, not enough time. <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> Um, I have not seen uh, Maid Dragon yet. I know that there was a new season that just came out and um, ended a few weeks back. Um, quite a lot of people like it, but yeah, I just haven't seen it yet. Um,
Uh, let's see what else is my creator watching currently. <laughs> the long, long list. Um... The character designs do look pretty cute. <laughs> you're rewatching Ghost of the Shell because you're stuck in the 2000s. Well, uh, my creator also loves early 2000s anime. Um, like most of the magical girl animes that she likes come from the early 2000s, so. <laughs> Don't feel bad. <laughs> um, she was she was trying to watch um, Eureka Seven, which is uh, early two thousands. I think it's Eureka Seven. No, that's a that's a different one. Maybe no, that's what it was called. I don't know. It's it was the she told me it was the thing with the with the, like the the wind surfing mechs. <laughs> That's from the early 2000s, I guess. Um. See, I can tell you some things that she just finished recently. <laughs> Finally, she finished um, Zombieland Saga, Vivi Floride Song, um, Godzilla. Singular point, <laughs> and, um... No, I guess that was it. <laughs> but, um, currently she's watching... Oh, jeez, I can't even remember the name of it. <laughs> uh, Toradora is your favorite anime, which came out in 2008. Yeah, I've heard of that one. The art style looks super cute and fun, but again, so much anime to watch. Not enough time. <laughs> but it it is a classic, so you're gonna have to watch it eventually. And, um... Cool. A cyberpunk future in 2044 where they still use CDs. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> and the, um... Ghost in the Shell soundtrack is wonderful. Um, that I have listened to, so I definitely need to actually watch the animated content <laughs> of it at some point. Make her forehead kind of shiny. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright, so there she is, and, um... Oh, I need to go and steal her freckles. <laughs> Here we go. We're stealing, stealing something else from her. Perfect. I need to do some... Right. Oh, um, yes, Godzilla! <laughs> so, it's an anime on Netflix called, um, Godzilla Singular Point, and... Um, Godzilla is in it, but not really. The Godzilla's not even in it, really, so... <laughs> 
if you're looking for an easy to watch, fun sci-fi show about a nerdy girl who loves dinosaurs and talks to a puppy AI in her phone to help solve the world's mass destruction, then you're gonna love Godzilla in fact. <laughs> or Godzilla singular point. <laughs> I'm mixing up the name. <laughs> but yes, it's um it's super fun. I would actually highly recommend it. And my creator knows nothing about um Godzilla, and it was still enjoyable. But that's also probably because Godzilla isn't even really in it, like I said. <laughs> it, Godzilla just kind of comes in at the end to make an appearance and destroy a city, but... <laughs> um, and... Anime called Skullface, Bookseller, Honda-san. Um... I, I did hear about that one when it was the season that it was airing, but didn't <laughs> didn't pick it up because there there's a lot of other things that season, but um That's fun though. <laughs> <laughs> it, maybe it is a reference to Undertale, you never know. <laughs> Doing some stray hairs. So I should fix this up. Uh, this bow, give the bow some color. And I make it the same color as her school uniform. I did, we, uh, my creator actually did watch, um, Pop Team Epic, and she thought it was hilarious, so, <laughs> she probably just did not, um, catch the Undertale scenes, that she hasn't played it yet, <laughs> and neither have I. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do true shading, but I'm going to experiment with some... Um... Some kind of... Kind of pale... Pale mood shading stuff. <laughs> Definitely needs to be not so dark. Yeah, it is fun. It's it's very fast paced and um, uses a lot of different art styles, and it's really funny. Yeah, <laughs> shading is really not that fun for the most part, so 
we just kind of find some ways to use shading for like vibes sake but not really true shading i guess <laughs> kind of like what we're also about to do is give it um anti-shading lighting <laughs> something like that Uh. Ooh, pixel art! That's so cool! Do you do, um, just, um, pixel art, um, illustrations or moving pixel art? Both is really cool. I am, my creator follows quite a bit of pixel artists on Instagram. Right, 22 multiply and 22 overlay. I'm just trying to remember that. <laughs> Get that layer color. Yeah, animated anything is really hard, so that's cool that you were able to do that. Um, nice. So what kind of things do you like to draw in pixel art? What's your favorite thing to draw? Turn it down to 22 and then overlay also at 22 or 23. It didn't make much of a difference on the- oh! This version of her now did for some reason just <laughs> sprung into action randomly. <laughs> Alright, we have shading that matches everything else here. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try to stick her in the lake now and see how it looks. So that's... I think I am gonna do two versions, so... Oh, this is cool. You can see them flip back and forth now.
All right, I'm gonna copy this folder and paste it. And merge those layers. <laughs> flip her <laughs> and throw her in the pot <laughs> right um, let's put her down in the lake yeah time to take a dip <laughs> Oh, that made everything kind of weird. <laughs> um, put that back on top. <laughs> um, oh, very cool. You and your friend are going to make a manga of the story you're writing. That's really cool. <laughs> Sounds like something really fun to work with with a friend, too. What is the story about? My music has stopped once again. Oh. <laughs> oh, nice. You put your um, Instagram post up. And I'm happy for. <laughs> He's sleeping, so he can't check out the street. <laughs> Well, the stream will be up for him to watch um, afterwards. Like, all my streams stay up, so you can even go back and watch other ones. Um, and, of course, I have more streams every week, so... <laughs> This is a very odd concept I'm trying to make it look like. Um, there's some ripples going on here. <laughs> Might just look better without that at all. Maybe, I don't know, let's combine them and give them some boring. <laughs> How about that? I'm reading, reading the messages for give me why I'm quiet and processing for a few seconds. <laughs> um, let's see. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. So cool. Your your story is kind of like a survival slice of life, perhaps. <laughs> and um, Amber, thank you. Um, I'll find. I've been here at work at all of us. <laughs> You've arrived anyway. I agree. <laughs> Not really sure how I want to add some texture to this water. I'm gonna see what what texture packs I have in the <laughs> folders over here. Um, texture. I'm aware this is more of like a oceany kind of thing, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Very cool, Happy Core. Twists always make things more exciting. <laughs> yeah, you might have to redesign a character if their hair is annoying. Um, however, <laughs> you could also not because my um, my creator absolutely hates drawing one of the characters and Magical Princess Guy's hair. Like their hair is so tricky to draw, even though it's just some random short short hair um it's storm you know who i'm talking about alpine <laughs> the way his hair lays is just the <laughs> now i'm like glitching up but it's so hard to draw <laughs> yeah. aww <laughs> well give your cats some some petting maybe they just want some attention alpine <laughs> Yeah, definitely making a comic will make you reconsider a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, it's... yeah, Storm. <laughs> Milan's hair is also complicated because it it does the thing where it's loose on one side and then braids tightly on the other, but for some reason Storm's hair is so much more complicated. <laughs> Gotta hit that save button before I forget. <laughs> We're in the home stretch. <laughs> the effect. I definitely wanna mess with this, um, this layer here kind of make the mist clear in front of her face a little bit I also want to add a little bit more mist right along the shoreline Kind of hide the transition between the the land and the 
I was gonna say C, but pond. <laughs> And maybe some extra large mist in the foreground for effect. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, Happy Core says, when I was making my manga, I threw so many changes and originally had yellow hair. Now he has red hair. And the girl came, character name May has changed in design so much it's almost like Ryan. I don't. I can't, I can't speak for it. Unrecognizable. Um, yeah, my career definitely had that happen. Um, I mean, I was, I was a horse. <laughs> I was just a straight up pink horse, actually. <laughs> and now I am a, um, humanoid fluffy eared person <laughs> so uh, we definitely know what you mean by that and l5 says tourmaline is one of the main characters of the book they have shoulder like lilac hair but it is always in a ponytail that's falling out and super annoying to draw <laughs> main character snow uses an axe to cut his hair that's pretty hardcore <laughs> I want to. I'm not really sure what that this one is, but I'm gonna add some overall mood lighting now. I'm gonna add some random. Pink cross. <laughs> um, and they kind of give some kind of glowy soft focus to the to the midsection there and also want to add some more texture um, I remind you of Senko Senko Oh, is it one of um, your OCs or an anime character? If it is, I would love to know who they are. <laughs> um, and Alphine says it's post-apocalyptic, so they don't necessarily have barbershops. That's true. <laughs> barbershops might not be able to stay in business during the apocalypse. <laughs> I don't like that texture that much. I think I'm gonna create my own to overlay here. Uh, let's see if there's a brush that I really like. Mm, I'm thinking of one. I'm thinking of colored pencil. It looks bad that far out though, so let's... No, I don't think that's gonna work. Um... What was the other one that I like to use? Oh yes, the design pencil. And I will have to use the... some blending to get this softer. Mm. 
Cinco the Fox. I'll have to look it up. Um, I do know that <laughs> my creator has this um, anime cookbook. And there is a recipe in there um, that says it comes from the anime Cinco the Fox. But I did not know what it was. So I'm definitely going to have to look it up now. I think it was the, the recipe for Anari Sushi. Uh, my creator absolutely loves to cook, so um, it's it's a fun anime cookbook. <laughs> the overlay, yeah, I think that's it's a little moody, but it gives a nice texture. I'm gonna make sure that it's not really on her face though here. Maybe we add another layer of of white so that it doesn't look so sad. <laughs> and maybe some fun effects like some sparkles or something. Okay, so it probably was the Anari Sushi then. The Anari Sushi is so yummy, and it's pretty easy to make at home if you can find the, um, the frozen um, fried tofu packet, pocket things to stuff the rice with. <laughs> so it's fun. Okay, let's see what kind of sparkles I want to use on her. I think it's a fun dappled effect. I think I'm going to do the same thing again on a larger scale. <laughs> Confetti everywhere! <laughs> Yeah, it's tasty. <laughs> Is this even showing up? Yeah, oh my goodness, those are microscopic. Gotta make that brush bigger. <laughs> Too small again. I don't know why it's not distributing very evenly. It's not working for me, but we shall try. This looks good. Yeah, I think this is more of what we're looking for. Splatters. <laughs> Thank you for this celebration party thingies, cool. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we are pretty much at our fishing. 
<laughs> I almost said fishing line. <laughs> At our finish line here. Um, I do see like one other thing that's gonna bother me though is um, um I want to put some more glow in this necklace because I did not put any glow in it at all. <laughs> Needs to be a little shiny. There. Perfect. And the other thing is... So many layers, oh my goodness. <laughs> Um, I want to give the irises a bit more of either a pink or a blue color so that they kind of blend in more with everything else. Trying to figure out what layer they're on. That was the swans. Got this one? That was the top layer. Alright, so I just have to go here and pick up color from the layer. I'm going to choose blue. And we like multiply. Not exactly what I wanted for these. Yeah, I think that worked. <laughs> Maybe I'm trying to find my pink thing here. I want to add a little bit of maybe like soft yellow light around her. It's like barely even <laughs> noticeable. Uh, oh, have I seen the saga of Tanya the Evil? No, but I have heard of it. <laughs> like many things. <laughs> And Alpine, um, I don't know, it's just kind of like drawing with a friend in real life. You can look over and there they are drawing and then, you know, there you are drawing and, <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, that is a seamless way to shout out your SoundCloud. So if you do change it to Spoopy Court. I'll remember that, and remember that you are actually happy core, and now you are speaking core. <laughs> um, one thing that was forgotten here is a signature. Oh, I just put three, three L's in her name. <laughs> Let's try that again. interested in your your um soundcloud i was the one that asked for the name of it in fact you are now spooky <laughs> i know i keep on saying oh i'm done except for there's one more thing that i need to do <laughs> um and that is 
You want to give some softer color over part of this. Actually, maybe the reflection isn't, like, now that I'm thinking, I think the reflections in the water are usually smaller. So, I'm going to try it again. I think that, that makes a little bit more sense, but she still needs her leg kind of... Yeah, I think that makes more sense. <laughs> oh fun, so your name changes with the seasons then. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put the sticker shape overlay on there to see how it turned out. So, that would be like what the sticker version looks like, probably. It's pretty cute. This would also make like a pretty cute Arcalic standee. <laughs> So, I'm trying to think, how long have I been streaming today? Um, three, four, five, six, four hours? Wow! Oh my goodness! Um, well, I mean, I guess that was this piece from pretty much to start to finish. Um, except for some of the sketching had already been done previously, but most of it was done during this stream. <laughs> So yeah, but it didn't feel like it took forever <laughs> because you guys were there to keep me company. <laughs> Thank you for that. And yes, it will actually be a sticker. Um, it will be, um, oh, bye, cool. See you later. And um, this will be a sticker and it will be um, with a mirror effect for the lake so that it'll be super metallic so um it kind of has like a mirror lake thing effect <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna uh, make it a sticker soon <laughs> so keep an eye out <laughs> i'm not sure how big we're gonna make it yet um most of our stickers are usually only three inches. However, this one, I mean, it's pretty detailed. So like, I'm kind of thinking like five inches or something. It might be kind of big, but. <laughs> oh, yay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so it'll probably be a big boy sticker. <laughs> thank you, Amber. This is it with the with the sticker thing off that way so I just made it a whole scene thank you <laughs> but yeah this is this has been very fun <laughs> um not done So I don't know what I should draw next time on a drawing stream, but um, maybe this time of day is actually pretty decent for a drawing stream since so many people joined me. Um, I never really know when to do my drawing streams. <laughs> uh, my next stream is going to be Friday at 6 p.m. EST time, 
And that's kind of my um, ongoing slot that I always try to stream in. And we will be building the enemy castle <laughs> from my manga in Sims 4. So that should be entertaining. And we're going to stick all the enemies in there and see how they like it. <laughs> um, see. Yeah, I think that's, that's the only stream I really have planned so far. I'm also going to do a spore stream soon where I'll, I'll have like a top hat and a mustache because we're going to the civilization stage and spore and um and spore earth you like make a creature basically and um <laughs> you can put a mustache on it so <laughs> we're also gonna wear one my friend she will lend me his oh thank you i'm so glad that you liked my stream so much i'm happy that i met you as well and i hope that you come back to chat with me sometime oh the best hours of my life whoa that's such a high compliment, thank you! <laughs> so, since you haven't been to one of my streams before, um, I will let you know that every time I end a stream, you have an opportunity to make a wish on a star. So, <laughs> I'm about to end the stream, but um, I stay on and read everyone's wishes as they make their wishes on the stars. So, um... Yes! <laughs> I hope everyone had a wonderful day, and thank you so much for joining me. And make those wishes on the stars. I'll see them, and I will wish with you. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Good night, good night. It's shooting star time. Good night! Uh, I gotta find my own thing. Oh, there it is. Okay, shooting star time. <laughs>